A receiver many may consider undersized. Lubbock High wideout Nathan Slaughter is showing everyone why he believes he has the ability and the tools to be a Division I collegiate receiver at the next level. And it's exactly why he's our AJ Player of the Week. Welcome back to the Fever for this week's Player of the Week, and it is none other than Lubbock High wide receiver Nathan Slaughter. Nathan, 14 catches, 235 yards, three touchdowns. Nathan, it seemed like no matter where you were, no matter what defense Midland Lee ran, it seemed like you were always open, always able to find the ball. Talk about the game. Talk about what the key was on uh, Friday night. The coaches told me not to settle for what I had done the past two games. I had 200-yard games, so they told me to elevate my game, so I just did what I could and tried to make plays when the balls was in my hand. Talk about the game itself. I mean, it looks like it just kind of as the game went on, the confidence built, and, you know, even no matter, you know, even if, you know, Midland Lee scored a touchdown, it looks like you guys didn't panic, you didn't let the thing get out of control. You know, talk, talk about the, the mindset you guys had going into the game on, on Friday. Well, the coaches, they talked to us about it all off season. Don't let little things have a snowball effect on the team. So coaches told me to have more leadership and just to keep the – attitude positive and we know we can do things on offense we can do things on defense as long as we keep our heads in the game so that's what we try to do obviously going into the season you were going to take on a bigger role this year as the leading receiver talk about what you did to maybe elevate your game and get ready for this year i worked real hard in the summer trying to get my weight up working on my quickness just everything seven on seven was big for us this year so i just did everything i could this summer to be prepared for the season did you feel like you needed to take on the bigger uh, leadership role, the responsibility role going into the year? Yes, sir. I felt like it was very important for us. Someone needed to step up, and I thought I could be that guy. Now, Nate, not only a, a good football player, a good student, talk about the academic side. What, you know, you know, what drives you on the academic side? Well, my mom, she's very hard on me about my grades. She says, you know, if, it's, if I don't have my grades up, I can't play sports. So that's one big thing for me, and I just if I want to be successful in life, I have to have good grades. So. Now, one thing we noticed during the off season, you know, we were looking at uh, things like Facebook and, and MySpace. We went online. We found uh, the website GameTubeTape.com, which you've got a video on there. Talk about how all that came about, how you put that together. Um, well, a lot of uh, colleges that are recruiting me wanted me to make a highlight tape. So I got all the film from the coaches, went home, made it one week, put it on YouTube, GameTube. I just, I'm trying to market myself, so. I just had to do what I had to do. How's that working so far? How much interest are you getting right now? I'm getting a few interest from a lot of schools, so we'll just see what happens at the end of the season. Anybody in particular? Uh, Texas Tech, UTEP, um, Princeton, Harvard, a lot of Ivy League schools are looking at me. And then I have some a little bit from here and, here and there from some other schools, but we'll see what happens. Well, obviously, you know, the, the win was big this last week, but now you guys have got to follow it up. A little bit of a short week turnaround for Midland. How, how big is it to, to put that game away and, and focus on Midland right now? It's real big for us. You know, Lubbock is not known for winning one week and coming back the next week. So we're taking that to heart. We want to we wanna prove something to the city and everyone in the district. So we're going to put the win behind us and work hard this week in practice and try to get us another one. Yeah. Well, I guarantee you, if they play hard, if they play like they did this past week, not only will they win a lot of games this year, they could find themselves in the playoffs. For Nathan Slaughter, our player of the week, I'm George Washington. Travis, back to you. Now, you know, watching film of this uh, kid this summer, George, obviously we knew Slaughter was going to be something special this year for the Westerners. Yeah, you actually found it on, online, at, at, you know, and we talked about it with, uh, with Nathan there, the uh, YouTube or, or GameTubeTape.com, mm -hmm. where he put on his highlights, and not only his highlights, but he lists like, his stats. And his mo maybe most impressive thing, his high ATC, uh, ACT score and his 4.0 GPA. I'm telling you, folks, this kid is, is outstanding in more ways than just on the football field. Very well spoken, very articulate, very smart out there. And, and, and his smart show on the football field, he's very intelligent out there on the field, just knows where to get, knows how to get open, you know, where the holes are, what the defense is doing, you know, and, and that's why, you know, he's getting looks like Tech, UTEP, but then he also threw in like Princeton and Harvard. So, you know, he could end up being another one like Shaney Wilkinson from Coronado last year who, who went on to Princeton and playing, uh, playing football for this year. Nathan Slaughter is definitely a special, special talent, and I look forward to seeing what kind of stats he ends up with at the end of the year. Now, obviously, he's going to be a lot of fun to watch on Friday nights the rest of the season. Another team that's been fun to watch as well has been Roosevelt. George will visit with Coach Pointer for our film session next, right here on The Fever.